Hi everybody, the purpose of this video is to show you a new strategy of multiplication um, using doubles and halves. And this is one of our more advanced strategies, but you're going to use what you already know about multiplication to help you get this strategy down. So first, let's start with what does it mean to double? So if I had one pizza and I wanted to double it, I would just take my one pizza and add one more. So double one equals two. So let's think about this. If I had two pizzas, if I had two pizzas and I double that, I'm doing two pizzas that I have plus another two. So let's see. If I clone both of these, now how many do I have? I've got four. So I've got 2 plus 2, and that equals 4. So 2 doubled is 4. So now let's talk about what does it mean to cut something in half. All right, so half is the opposite or the inverse of doubling. So let's say I had 4 pizzas. You write half in a fraction like this. So we're look, looking to divide this into two equal groups and half of it would be one part. So I've got one, two, three, four pizzas. So what I'm essentially do is it, doing is I'm taking my four pizzas, I'm dividing it in half, which means two equal parts, so I'm dividing it by two. So four divided by two would be if I split this right down the middle, this would be one part, and this would be another part. So how many pizzas are in each section? One, two, one, two. So four divided by two equals two. So half of four equals two pizzas. So now let's take this and let's apply this to multiplication. I've got two problems here. 12 times 8 and 24 times 4. Well, you should know 12 times 8 equals 96. But now if you look at the way these numbers are related, let's look at the 12 and the 24. If I double 12, I'm going to get 24. Because 12 plus 12 equals 24. Now take a look at these next set of numbers. 8 and 4. If I cut the 8 in half, if I divide it by 2, I get 4. So this number right here, in between the 12 and the 24, I'm double. I'm doubling. So let's put a line in to show that from here to here, we're doubling. Okay, so now this side right here from the 8 to the 4, it's a half. Oops. So let's look at that in terms of an array. I've got my 12 times my 8 equals 96. Now I have an array a little bit lower I'm going to pull up that is 24 times 4. And let me pull this up and just kind of shrink it so we can see each of our arrays. So here's the 12 times the 8 right here equals 96. Now I'm going to bring up my 24 times 4. So watch what happens when I overlay my 12 times my 8 over my 24 times 4. So I'm going to lay it over top, and then I'm going to get my highlighter, and we're going to look at the part. So this part right here is lined up exactly even with the the array that's on the bottom, okay, the 12 times the 4. 
so we'll line that back up. So let's see, what do we have left over? So let me draw a line, a green line around this part. So now let's look at this array. We've got one, two, three, four, and then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Look at that. It's it's like I split this in half, so I've got on this side I've got my twelve times four, and on this side I've got another twelve times four. Okay, so let's take a picture of this array right here, this twelve times the four, and then I'm going to need to uh, bring this back over to the page that we're working on. Okay, so watch what happens if I lay this on top right here. Now, pretend this part over here is not no longer here. You can't see that. So now, look at, I've covered that whole big array of 12 times 8. So if I double the 12 to give me 24 and then cut the other number in half, it's the same size. So what does that tell you about the answer? Let me leave that there and I'm going to go back to the single view. Oops, not what I wanted. Single page view. So see how these are the same? So now that means that this answer is going to be 96. So knowing 12 times 8 can help me get the answer to 24 times 4 because if I cut the 12 in half, um, excuse me, if I double the 12 and then cut the other factor in half, the answer is going to stay the same. All right, let's look at another one. All right, so here we go. We've got 15 times 8 and we've got 30 times 8. Well, I know 30 times 8 is 240 because I know 3 times 8 equals 24 and then I add the 0 on the end because 30 is a multiple of 10. Um, so now, how can I use that to help me get the answer to 15 times 8? Well, let's look here. Let me move that down a little bit. Let's look. We've got the 8 is staying the same. So that factor is not changing. But the 15 and the 30, that factor is changing. How is it changing? If you said it is 15 is half of 30, you're correct. So half of 15 is 30. So that means that half of our answer is going to be the answer to 15 times 8. So let me prove it to you with an array. I'm going to group this, shrink it down a little bit, and I just want to label over here that um, this is from 15, 15 is half of 30, just so we keep that in mind. So that means that our answer, 240, is half, oh, excuse me, half of 240, half of 240 is the answer to 15 times 8. All right, so let's look at an array here. I've got 30 times 8, and then I've got 15 times 8. So let me put my 15 times 8 over here. And I know that this one is 240. So let's pull this one over, and I'm going to clone it. Another 15 times 8 lays perfectly on top. So 15 times 8 plus 15 times 8 is the answer. So what's half of 240? Well, I'm going to look at the 24, and I'm going to figure out half of that, because that's easy. Half of 24 equals 12. 
So I'm going to put my 12, and then I need to add a 0 because I'm working in the hundreds rather than the ones place. So my answer to 15 times 8 equals 120. All right, now it's your turn. Here are some practice problems I'd like you to solve on a piece of paper. Now remember, the purpose of these practice problems is to show how to use the strategy of doubles and halves to help you get your answer. Don't just write the answer. I want you to show me how you're doubling and how you're halving each of these numbers. And some numbers you might double, some numbers you might half. It's for you to look for the pattern to decide. Go ahead and fill out your answers on the Google form. Thanks. Have a great night. Bye.